front. I meant to pull my. I meant to pull the chute or the glider first. Yeah, right down there. What exactly is this? Just a walk. Uh, oh, this is a ring. Rico finally. Upright device. Okay. Don't know what to do. Well done. <laughs> you know what? Oh, 
I was thinking I needed to use it as like a catapult, but I didn't go fast enough for that. Didn't have enough boot. Let's use those catapult now. Answer is yes. Sure, because it's not a technically it is flat, but it's slow. Good. I'm supposed to launch myself. <laughs> I actually think I was supposed to launch myself.
Yeah, there's no need for the ball over here. Sits top of public cushion is not here. Read, read pay Pia's diary of a chief. First page. One day, grandmother said to me. You've grown up, Paya. It took me by surprise, so I simply nodded. She nodded back and said, It's settled. As of today, you are the chief. And so it was. Suddenly, I was the chief. But what? But what can I hope to achieve? Just like grandmother, I do have Dorian, Dorian as my aide, for which I'm grateful. Yet, for some reason, he seems troubled. Grandmother has become obsessed with old books. I'm hesitant to reach out to her with my concerns. I fear this chief's hat that grandmother has given me is too heavy for me to bear. Literally, it rather hurts my head. It happened suddenly, without warning. I was so frightened by the impact. It was as though someone had taken hold of this world and given it a violent shake. The air grew stagnant, weapons decayed, and ruins fell from a somber sky shrouded in dark clouds. How fortunate that none of the villagers were injured. As for the village itself, it has been utterly transformed. Five large ring-shaped ruins fell down upon the village, and a large opening in the ground has been spotted at East Hill. Even with everything that is happening, Grandmother said that she was going to set out on a journey with Kato. I tried to stop her from going at a time like this, but she insists that such times are precisely why she must go. I had no choice but to bid her farewell. Her eyes seemed to work to worldlessly wordlessly say that she was shouldering some great mission. There are 11 peculiar s symbols depicted in the book grandmother was reading. Could they somehow be related to her sudden departure? I told her to look out at a lookout landing about our village situation. She said ring-shaped ruins are incredibly unusual. Realizing this could be a good opportunity to help the village, I made an arrangement with the Zunai survey team at once. I returned home to greet them, and that's when Princess Zelda arrived at the village. She seemed almost like a doll of herself, the same outside, but no spirit within. I could not hide my uncertainty. She forbade anyone from entering the broken and peculiar floating ruin 
And then she left, just like that. She did not mention the village's awful condition or have any word of kindness for our villagers. The Zone survey survey team has, has arrived at our village. Their leader, Haru, is truly incredible and has already found a clue in the quest to the Sarping Zone writing. I tentatively named the ruins that fell upon our village, the Ring Ruins. It seems the obvious choice. The villagers have treated me with such warmth and even embraced my decision for us to coexist with the Ring Ruins of their own vi volition. Some of our villagers volunteered to aid, to aid research and others for patrol duty. It's humble to behold. Dorian's sweet little daughter, Coco, even crafted souvenir items called ring garlands. Before I knew it, our day of, days of never having visitors had passed. Our quiet village seemed to have regained its vigor. Before all else, we must learn more about the ring ruins. It is my responsibility as chief to see what it has done. I intend to fulfill my duties as chief in a manner that is slightly different from my grandmother's way. Gone is the chief who sits in her hall with great, with quiet w wisdom. That is what the village needed of her then, but no longer. I must keep moving forward so that when she returns, I can gr greet my dear grandmother with a triumph smile. another book to examine and there's crap is journal of various worries i don't think i'll ever find a bed that has comfort as comfortable as the stone slab in the ring ruins it's so cool and comfortable i may never be able to sleep on a regular bed no matter how soft ever again what should i do yes i'll sleep on it and figure it out later or better Better or worse. Does anyone know how to treat gloom sickness? Anything helps. So if you have information, bring it to Leslie right away. Monsters appeared at the ring ruins out among the hills and lead that lead west of here. Dis disrupting my research. Is anyone out there capable of dealing with something like this? I'm not from the village, but I hope it's okay for me to ask. Kendra, Kendra of the Zonai survey team. The cuckoos used to lay their eggs in front of the store, but they've been wandering off somewhere in the mornings. So where are those dang cuckoos laying their eggs? We really, we rely on those eggs for our business. Prisha, high spirits produce. Secret base is a, is a secret just between me and mommy. So no one is allowed to follow me ever. That's what makes it secret, not Katala. Good grief. It's Lady Kaya's Pai duty to take care of the village. But whenever I take my eyes off her, she's elbow deep in some trivial new problem. I... Hmm? Oh. Ooh, is that really you? <gasps> Link? Why, it's been some time. You gave me quite a shock. I didn't expect to see you appear here in our village. Uh. And right now, too, while our chief is... Oh. Uh, I suppose you haven't heard. The former chief, Lady Ampa, retired. And Lady Pe Paya is the chief of Kakariko Village. I've been working as her assistant, but Ugh. Lady Paya is ignoring her responsibilities. He won't listen to anything I say. 
All these ring runes have a full attention. Ah. Even now, she's under one of the ring ruins with the Zonai survey team. That ruin over there. Oh. I wonder, maybe, seeing you will remind her of her responsibilities as chief. Would you do me a favor and stop by and see Lady Paya? Yeah, I can do that. Mineral store, mineral store in, armor store. That I am. It took me a minute to read that. High Spirits Produce. Oh, God. Ah. Ah. Hi. Hello. Ah. I'm sorry, the old fella who stalks this place is busy driving off monsters. They're gone off to the ring ruins. That's among the hills that lead west of the village. So as you can see, we've almost run out of good. Ah. Those two, they just don't get along. That's going to stand in the way of them taking care of that problem up there. I can't go and check up on them, and the longer they're away, the more worried I get. Hear me, apologize for apologies for going on and on about my old worries. So what can I help you with? Recommendations? Aww. I usually recommend a swift carrot. I'm a Mr. Gross. But here's the problem. Ah. He's gone off with that other old fella. To drive out monsters and live in one of the ring ruins. It's the ruin that that's among the hill that leads west of the village. So he's up there. Up not here to tend to the, his garden. And that's why we're pretty much out of stock. So what can I help you with? Bye. Ah. So okay. Got eyes and wings, arrows. Oh, Ma. Ah. All right, well, I was hoping that they would have some Hylian rice. That one, maybe? Five. So I think I'm going to do two stamina and three heart. I want to go. I mean, we could walk around the town over the village, but I want to go. Talk to Maya if I can. Yeah. The rear ruins are most intriguing ruins I've researched, especially this one. The way. The way part of it floats up there. You had the foresight to focus on all of these special ruins and invite the survey team to take good take a look right away. Uh. I'm impressed, Chief Paya. <sighs> oh no, I I'm no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only, since I still have a great deal to um 
Oh, is that you, Master Link? <laughs> I'm so happy that I get to see you again. Mm. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. Oh? What? Princess Zelda is still missing? That's just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with a princess not too long ago. Ah. I was immediate, immediately after the upheaval. Uh, it was immediate, yeah, after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko Village. She ordered us all to stay away from the ri ring ruin that float above us, no matter what. I saw her myself, the princess, right before my eyes. She left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. And we thought it was just to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Pi and I suspect at least. Mm. But still, I know you would not misspeak, Master Link. Especially for on a matter of such importance. How confusing. Ah. Oh! My apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you. I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Toro, an esteemed member of the Zonai survey team. Ah. I invited him to, here to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. Ah. He has incredible, incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's been familiar with Zonai script. He's even familiar with Zonai script. He is truly an incredible talent, incredibly talented individual. Oh. It's clear that the floating ring ruin that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such a shape have fallen down around the village. Mo most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contains rather interesting content, including mention of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. Aww. I think that perhaps the ruin floating in the air also has a slab that contains mention of the sages. Mm. I can't investigate, as that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. If only I could meet with her again. I'm sure I could persuade her to change her mind. Oh. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring, squaring your story about Princess Zelda with the Princess Zelda we met. If everything is alright, why won't she just show herself? Mm. She must have some reason. Until we find out Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that ruin alone. Wait, so I can't go up there either? What are you doing? <gasps> Princess Zelda orders everyone is strictly forbidden from getting close to that ring. If that applies to an archaeologist like me, it certainly applies to an amateur like you. Ooh. Princess Zelda visited Kakariko Village recently. Her orders were clear. Of all the ruin rings, this site is off limits. She left before giving any sort of reason why. Maybe she wants to keep the villagers safe. Ruins aren't known for being strict, structurally sound, after all. You. Hey, you there! Come here! Oh. Haven't you heard? It's strictly forbidden to get near that ring ruin by Princess Zelda orders. So you'd better be on your way. Ugh. Find another way. Oops. Is that is this the end of the dream that someday Princess Zelda will call me Dr. Callop? 